in this video we will try to solve the earlier question again using secondary approach the question is like this a consumer always spends 50 percent of his monthly income on food introduction of value-added tax on food items has led to a 20 percent increase in food prices while his monthly income remain unchanged the consumer's price elasticity of uh, demand for good is uh, the question sorry the answer should be in uh, integer value okay so what we are being given let us take any arbitrary uh, income of the consumer let us say we have uh, 100 dollars is the income of the consumer is 50 per uh, percent of 100 that means he is spending 50 percent of his income uh, on the food items so let us say this is 50 that means uh, 100 per, uh, 50 percent of 100 comes out to be 50 okay what is then total expenditure of uh, total expenditure will be equal to price into quantity okay so this total expenditure should be equal to 50 okay since he is spending 50 percent of his monthly income that means price into quantity should be equal to 50 okay so 50 percent now if we solve this for q so we have q is equal to uh, 50 upon p okay just transposing p to rhs now taking derivative of this q with respect to p that means dq upon dp is equal to the derivative of p in this case since it is in the denominator it is uh, minus we have 50 upon p square okay so i hope you know how to calculate the derivative i have explained it n number of times okay what is the elasticity of demand formula elasticity of demand formula is being given by dq upon dp uh, into p upon q okay so using this formula dq upon dp we calculated here dq upon dp so in place of this i can write uh, minus 50 upon p square okay uh, into we have this p so we will write p as it is and in place of q our q is equal to this very thing okay so in place of q i will write 50 upon 50 upon p okay that comes out to be we have minus uh, 50 upon p square okay if we transpose this p to uh, numerator it will get multiplied so this becomes p square upon 50 okay so here you can see 50 and 50 gets cancelled p square p square gets cancelled so we are left with minus 1 okay so the price elasticity of demand for food should be equal to minus 1 okay this 20 percent uh, i guess uh, it is being given here to confuse the students okay so in the earlier approach i got the value as 0 0.8 minus 0 0.8 and i have just rounded off uh, this 0 0.8 to the next possible integer so that was minus 1 